Tip number one for skimmer bream is to fish long, okay? So by long, I'm talking 13 meters, 14 and a half meters. Get yourself out into the middle of the lake, into that deep water of at least, you know, six, seven foot. So also try and be accurate. So I don't know if you can see here, on all my butt sections of my poles, I have a little bit of blue tape. I don't like to hold them near the end because that's how you crack things. I'm just lining up with this little bit of tape here, little electrical tape every time I go out and that's where I'm feeding as well. So I'm very accurate. Tip number two, use a heavy float. When you're talking six, seven, eight foot of water, you want something like 0.75, which is about four, four B18s, a gram, a gram and a half, just so you can keep the bait still and anchored over depth for skimmers. They don't tolerate a running bait, okay? So what I'm using today is a 4B18 Malman Speedy. It's a very stable flow, it's got round bodies, uh, a wire stem for stability and importantly it's got quite a long bristle and having that long bristle means that when you get a lift by it really exaggerates it so I'm using quite a thickish bristle of 1.5 mil so I can see it there's a bit of chop on the water today a hollow bristle that's just nice round body for stability to hold it in place right tip number three is to be positive with your shotting for skimmers don't be using 10s and 11s and a really faffish, you know, little shot. Use 8s and 9s. I'm using 8s droppers today just to get a really positive indication on the float. And what I've ended up doing, I started with a bulk and two droppers, two number 8s, but that was just getting held up by a little fish. I've been much more positive now, so I've got a bulk and a second bulk about, what, 7, 8 inches from the hook. That's a bulk of number 8s, you know, three number 8s. That just gets it down. It's really positive, holds it there. When you get a bite, it's usually just a slow pull under or because you, or of that bulk, your fish picks it up, your bulk lifts and the whole bristle comes out of the water. Tip number four, use a light elastic, okay? Skimmer bream, just basically they just come in and flop about and come over the surface. If you use a heavy elastic, all you're gonna do is bump them off. So I've got today, I've got a number six to eight matrix slick, which is a really, really stretchy elastic. It's even stretchier than hollow, even though it's solid. And that just cushions the skimmers as you're bringing them in. No need to rush them, just uh, ship them steadily in. For roach, I've used a five or a six. As it gets colder and the fish get, you know, they slow down a bit, you can scale those elastics down even more. One thing as well for skimmers, set it quite soft, your elastic, unless it's really deep water and you have to set the hook through a really deep rig. Tip number five is all about feeding and topping up. So think about how much you're going to put in at the start because you can't take it out. If you put too much in, then you're going to knock your swim up straight, straight away. If you put too little in, then chances are you'll have to top up a lot sooner and you might have not put enough bait in to hold the skimmers for very long. So as I say, I've put four balls in today because it's quite deep. On a shallower venue, if it's harder, you might only put one or two in when it gets colder. Topping up as well, the fish tell you when you want to top up because your bites will stop, okay? Or your small fish will come in. When that happens, you know it's time to top up. So topping up, again, it can be anything from a little tiny nugget to a full ball sometimes, or today, that's been about the size of ball that I've topped up with. As I say, it's the, it's the swim stim ground bait, the new uh, silverfish dark with the two mil F1 pellets in. Again, right on that spot where I've plumbed up with that marker. <laughs>